Here's one of the most famous stories of accidental digging treasure. On March 29, 1974, a farmer in Xi'an, China, was digging a well when he noticed something strange in the ground. There were a lot of things that looked like people in burrows under the ground. The farmer reported it to the authorities, and the Chinese government became alarmed and ordered a major excavation. The Terracotta Army, one of archaeology's greatest discoveries, was unearthed, and also they find the tomb of Qin Shai Wang at a distance of 1 Kelvin M from the Terracotta Army. Qin Shai Wang was the first emperor to unify China in 221 BC and build the famous Great Wall. After 2,000 years of rumors, a farmer's accidental discovery of the tomb of China's first emperor proved to the world that it existed, but the tomb of Qin Shai Wang hasn't been excavated since 1974. The Chinese government has stopped excavating the tomb, claiming that it is too large to excavate and disturbed with modern technology, and that the work will be left to future generations to complete. But is this true? Why are these ruins, which could be one of the world's biggest tourist attractions, being left untouched? Qin Shai Wang, who spent his entire life dreaming of how to live forever, believed the answer in Mercury. And the desire for Mercury continued even in death. Ancient Chinese historical texts claim that a great river of Mercury flowed through the tomb of Qin Shai Wang. But since no one actually saw the tomb, modern scholars have assumed that this river of Mercury was a fictionalized representation or metaphor. When the tomb was actually discovered, the results were shocking. In 1982, an analysis by the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences found that the mercury content of the imperial mound soil was seven times higher than the soil in the surrounding area. Even more shocking, the levels rose exponentially as the soil was dug up for excavation. Despite the fact that mercury is highly volatile, it has been found in ancient tombs over 2,000 years old. This indicating that the Mercury rivers of history may have existed. A few years ago, a team of Chinese archaeologists investigating the tomb of Qin Shai Huang make a startling discovery. They found there was a very high probability that there was a huge drainage system at the bottom of Qin Shai Huang's tomb which the team speculated could have transported large amounts of mercury from Shanxi province, about 100 kilometers from the tomb. The archaeologists also looked at another possibility. If there really was a river of mercury in the tomb as described in ancient Chinese history books, how would the crossbows that automatically fire when they detect enemy intrusion and the ceiling that mimics the sky have been realized as described in the books. None of the modern archaeologists have been able to come up with an estimate of how they would have been designed. The excavation of the tomb of Qin Shai Wang is a great achievement for China and the world. But the excavation is not happening due to opposition from the Chinese government. Skeptics have come up with several other theories as to why the Chinese government is not excavating the tomb. The first is the possibility that the tomb of Qin Shai Huang has already been looted, and there are actually two archaeological records that suggest this. A general named Hang Wu mobilized 300,000 people to dig up the tomb of Qin Shai Huang and transported the treasures for 30 days. Some have argued that the height of the tomb is much lower than recorded because the terrain has been lowered over the years not by erosion but by the destruction caused by grave robbing. The suspicion is that the Chinese government is not conducting further excavations to conceal the fact that the historic tomb, which the world is paying attention to, has already been stolen. The second hypothesis is that the reason for the mass burial of laborers and slaves is to cover their tracks. According to ancient sources, the number of slaves used to build the imperial tombs at the time was 700,000 people. If all of them were locked up and buried in the tomb to hide the location of the imperial tombs, 
the first thing you see when you open the tomb is not amazing historical artifacts, but shocking evidence of mass graves. Conspiracy theorists have argued that both of these hypotheses are entirely possible and that the Chinese government is hiding them for the sake of its historical image. However, scholars in China have argued that these theories are completely unfounded. The tomb of Qin Shai Huang is considered the greatest and most remarkable of all imperial tombs discovered in human history. What is a hidden secret? What is the real reason for not excavating? I hope that the secret of Qin Shai Huang's tomb will be revealed to the world through X vacation as soon as possible. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll be back with more mystery stories.